Hello dear student this is Dr Agnes Kharat and with me you are studying organic evolution In our last session we have already learned what is organic evolution In this lecture we are going to learn evidences which favors organic evolution This lecture I have divided into two parts so let us begin with the first part of the lecture evidences in favor of organic evolution in this chapter we are supposed to learn evidences from anatomy embryology geographic distribution paleontology physiology biochemistry genetics and molecular biology so initially we'll start with the introduction what is important in organic evolution fossil record fossil record shows changes over the time anatomical record these are helpful for comparing body structures especially homology and vestigial structures embryology and development molecular record these are helpful for comparing protein and dna sequences and artificial selection now this is very important point artificial selection it caused due to human uh, human interference so artificial selection is human caused evolution in the environment so all these factors they are very important while studying the organic evolution so let us begin with the evidences first we'll learn evidences from anatomy anatomy is the branch of science which deals with the internal structure study of internal structure all these organisms all these animals they are with different structures on the surface morphologically all these animals they are different they do not look similar but when you look under the skin it tells an evolutionary story of common ancestors so how it is the answer is homologous structures and analogous structures now what are homologous structures homologous structures these are the organs which are similar in structure and origin but may look very different and perform different functions that means homologous organs they have a similar structure but functionally they are all different four limbs of vertebrates are very good example of homologous organs they are built on the same fundamental plan yet they appear different and perform different functions in each case the four limbs consist of four limbs of human cat horse bat and dolphin these are the four limbs we are considering so all these four limbs they consist of humerus radius ulna carpels metacarpals and phalanges this basic similarity in the structure of the apparently different four limbs of different kinds of vertebrate is due to the fact that all these limbs have evolved from common type that is called as pentadactyl limb so all these limbs they have a common origin in pentadactyl limb the structural similarities between homologous organ indicates common ancestry and it is example of divergent evolution or adaptive radiation now what are analogous structures analogous structures they are exactly different to the homologous structures these are the structures which are functionally similar but structurally different so they are called as analogous how is bird like a bug or an insect these are both of them they are having analogous structures so when you look at the structure of the flying organ which they are using that is wings in case of bird and insect they look similar on the outside 
they are performing the same function but they have different structure and development on the inside so they have a different origin they do not have evolutionary relationship it is just that they are solving a similar problem with a similar solution this is another example of analogous structures dolphins these are aquatic organisms aquatic mammal fish fish is aquatic vertebrate both of them they are adapted to a life in the sea they are not closely related but structurally both of them they appear similar <coughs> so here you can see the tail structure of dolphin it is exactly similar to that of the fish <coughs> convergent evolution so three groups of wings are there here we can see on the slide insects possessing wings bird having wing and this is a bat having wings all these organisms are using wings for what for the flying purpose does this mean that they have a recent common ancestor no they just came up with the same answer that is wings for the flying purpose all of them have evolved with the flight or the wing structure in three different times evolving similar solutions to the similar problem so this leads to the convergent evolution comparative anatomy is also important evidence in organic evolution so it gives us convergent evolution similar structures due to similar environmental pressure the example is body shape of fish dolphin and ichthyosaurus which is extinct all of them they have a similar kind of body shape because all of them they are living in the water body flippers of penguin and dolphins both of them they are aquatic organisms so they are using flippers uh, for the locomotion in the water body so flippers of penguin and dolphin they are and uh, they are structurally similar vestigial organs this is one more example of uh, anatomical evidence of organic evolution now when we look at the bone structure or the fossil of the whale what we are going to find the whale have pelvic and leg bones now why would whales have pelvis and leg bones if they were always a sea creature <coughs> because they used to walk on land so what are vestigial organs vestigial organs are the rudimentary organs vestigial organ is any small uh, uh, organ is any small organ degenerate or imperfectly developed organ or a part which may have been complete and functional in some ancestor of that organism now the example of vestigial organ here in the diagram we can see uh, some vestigial structures in the human body nictitating membrane because somewhere somewhere sometime we were we are having aquatic origin then muscles to move the ears uh, then pointed canine third molar vermiform appendix all these are the vestigial organ present in the man the only rational explanation for the presence of this non functional organ is that they have been inherited from ancestors in which they were functional so these are all anatomical evidences of organic evolution now let us learn evidences from embryology so here we can see the embryos developmental stages of embryos of fish salamander tortoise chicken and human if you look at the structures of this embryo will come to know that all these embryos somewhere they have similar structures so what does this comparative embryology tells us 
the aspects of embryology which support the doctrine of organic evolution are similar stages of early development that is morula blastula or gastrula in all the animals they are similar the embryos of all vertebrates are similar in shape and structure in the early stages this resemblance is so close that it is difficult to tell them apart all the vertebrates starts their life from a single cell which is called as a zygote all of them during their life history pass through two layered blastulum and three layered gastrula stage and then through fish like stage with gill slits so all the different aspects of embryology strongly support the fact that the different classes of vertebrates had common ancestors this is all for part 1 of evidences of organic evolution see you students with the part 2 thank you